Database relations are of mainly three types one to one, many to many, and one to many. The relation which is shown by a crow leg shaped it's called many. In this example, employee contact and employee account both are plain sided, so one employee contact can have one employee account. In many to many, both sided are shown by crow shaped. Many writers can write many books. One to many, one sided is plain and other sided is shown by a crow leg shape. One customer can have many orders. That's one to many example. One to many relation. This is the most widely used among the three relation types in the database system. We are looking at an example of customer and an order. One customer row can be linked to many orders, but one order row can only be linked to a one customer. That's one to many relation. We'll see in the example. Relationships in database means we'll have more than one table. There are two tables, customer table and order table, both with the primary key attributes of customer as a primary key of customer ID and order as a primary key of order ID. We need to link them. One way to link them is to add to the order table to know which order was made by which customer it can give the output the output of this data table will be right in a way but it has two problems it is violating normalization form of database which is a big no-no in database other thing is that it's data redundancy there is already a customer table and that contains all properties so data redundancy slows down the process of database which is which is again a big no-no for database so what we can do in a one to many relationship and linking them we will make absolutely no change in the one side of one to many relation which is customer and we'll we'll add a column to the many side of the table which is order here taking primary key of the customer table and adding it to the order table which will act as a foreign key now foreign key just to remind you primary key numbers cannot be repeated but foreign key numbers can be repeated that's how we'll create the link between one to many table now the tables are linked by the virtue of foreign key foreign key is the primary key of the customer table we can see from this table if we need to know how many orders were made by 201 customer we can see from the order table it's 3210 3216 and 3217 three orders were made by customer 201 and vice versa we can find the details of the owner of the order in this table customer is the one side and order is the many side one customer can can have many orders but one order cannot be made by many customers like order number 3210 cannot be made by many customers it can only be made by one customer another example customer 202 has two orders with the help of two tables we can find the order details of any customer or customer details of any order in this case and both tables are linked by foreign key many to many relationship we'll use the example of writer and a book a writer can write many books and one book can be written by many writers on both end side there's a many to many situation example we have a table of a writer and a book. Writer has a primary key of a writer ID, book has a primary key of book ID. It cannot be linked with the foreign key because it will only consider one side as many and one side as one. There's no chance of linking the table. The other way of showing it many to many is that adding adding values by separating them by comma, which is a violation of first normal form, which is a big no-no in database. The way we join many to many tables is by linking table. Linking table is a table which only contains primary keys of both the tables linked by many to many relationship. Like in this example, 201 has written two books, C01 and C03. It is shown in linking table. Likewise, C04, the book, is written by two writers, 202 and 203. So that's how the many to many relationship is shown by a linking table. There is no other way to show this table not even foreign keys so we do not have a use of foreign key in many to many relationship unlike one to many one to one table that's the least used relationship in the database table but it is used so it is important that we go through it one to one relationship can be best explained by the example in this example there are two tables employee table and employee account in this example, one employee can have only one bank account and one bank account can only be related to one employee and one employee only. This is called one-to-one -one relationship. 
like other example one student can have only one student id and one student id can only belong to one student that's another example of this that's one to one relationship although very rarely we find this mostly the situation when one to one situation occurs there is a tendency of merging the table that's the tendency that is that are used by database developers